The 54th annual Sioux Empire Sportsman Show is kicking off its second day today. Kettle Lens Max Hofer joins us live from the event with what's new. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Travis. That's right. I'm here at the convention center where I'm joined by the producer of the show, Barry Seneco. Barry, after, or sorry, <laughs> yeah, after a day, <laughs> sorry, yeah, after uh, an entire year off for the Sportsman Show, how does it feel to finally be back? Oh, it feels wonderful. You know, it's almost been like two years since we've got a sportsman show across the finish line because we were canceled last year so it's been two years since we've been here so but the arena the convention center full of resorts lodges boats campers we're back to full steam and we're really happy about that yeah and i know you guys kicked off last night around mm -hmm. five o'clock uh how did how did the first day go oh the first day went great we're only open for four hours on thursday we had about 800 people come in typical crowd so we're expecting a really big friday saturday and sunday absolutely and for you what's what are some of the things that people should really come and check out this year you know what's really important to know about this year is the scarcity of boats campers rvs so if you're really interested in one of those products there's just the not an inventory out there come down to the show find the boat the pontoon the camper the trailer you want and talk serious with the dealer because if you look at these things in april or may you may be looking at 2022 Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's that scarce. Yeah, and I know you said it's all, you also have a lot more clothing in stock this year, too. Yeah, so we're in the Reed Sporting Goods booth, and they've got great rod and reel combos, but behind us is some ice fishing equipment, closeouts. Things are half price. I was just looking at some musky equipment behind us. Buy one, get one. So the great thing about shows is you do get an opportunity to see a lot of different equipment, but make some big savings, too. Absolutely. And I know uh, COVID's a big talk right mm -hmm. now. Uh, is there any guidelines in place, anything people should know? when they come here? Well, at least for today, we have a mask mandate. I'm not wearing one I normally do. And then there's hand sanitizer everywhere. They're doing enhanced food preparation uh, on the concessions. Um, and But virtue of the way the show is designed, we have a lot of social distancing here. So it's a really nice, safe environment. People should feel comfortable coming down. Absolutely. And is there, uh, what are the show times so people are aware of what's, uh, I know it starts at noon today yep. and then Saturday and Sunday. What time does those start? Yeah. So Friday we're open from noon to nine, Saturday 10 to nine, Sunday 10 to five. So three really big days to come out. And if people forget what the times are, just go to SiouxFallsSportsShow.com. Everything is listed right there between Twiggy and the fishing seminars and everything that's going on at the show. All right. Well, Barry, I think that's all the time we got this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with your, hanging out here with me today. Yeah. I know you'll be here all afternoon, probably. Yep. Um, and so uh, coming up in the show, we'll actually hear from a vendor and what they're looking forward to and bringing to the showcase. Reporting live at the Sportsman Show, Max Hofer, Kelloland News.